Why isn't the market dropping like a stone with all the bad news? So I am reading and listening to the news, watching the numbers re COVID 19, listening to and reading apocalyptic accounts of the coming recession, hearing of record breaking unemployment reports and then doubling those numbers the next week. And the stock market goes down 1 to 2% and then stages a bit of a rally at the end of the day. April 3rd. I get that there has been a 20 plus percent drop already, but it just seems to me that this doesn't account for the seriousness of the situation moving forward. I am new to the trading, investing world I've always been a buy and holder until a month ago when I saw the writing on the wall and got out when the markets were down just a few percent. But I'm just trying to figure out why there isn't more market movement downwards. Can somebody help me understand? Market reactions to information are not always timely, proportional, or rational. We don't know the full impact of our current situation, we're feeling it out. Some people bulls, believe that the initial dip was an overreaction, that the government response will prevent further decline, and or that things will go back to normal pretty quickly, so they are buying the dip. On the other side you have people bears, that believe the initial reaction was just a start but not enough to price in the full impact, that the government can't prop up the economy, and or that this will drag on for a long while, so they are betting on further decline. The problem with this idea of information being priced in is that we all know there's a global pandemic, but there are very different opinions about how much that should affect the market. Consider unemployment levels, we have projections about unemployment rate potentially hitting a peak over 30%. Meanwhile, the current unemployment rate is 4.4% and projected to hit double digits in April. The only way all of that information could be appropriately priced in is if everyone agreed about the reasonableness of the projections and had the economic prowess to understand the actual impact of those figures. Instead, what happens is that some people will see the actual April unemployment numbers as surprising new information to react to, while others will see it as old information in line with their expectations. Add in thousands of other pieces of information about which people have conflicting opinions, and it becomes pretty much impossible to know in advance if that information was all priced inappropriately. The most recent comparable event is the subprime mortgage crash. Many people thought bottom was hit around November 2008 and there was a brief counter-trend rally before actual bottom was hit around March 2009. We don't know at this time if the market has bottomed out yet or not, nor do we know how long recovery could take.